The Minsk National Airport is the main air gateway of the Republic of Belarus, an important link in the country's economy. It features make as one of the most advanced airports in CIS and unequaled in Belarus. It accounts for over 90% of the total number of passengers served in the country's airport. Positioned centrally on a map of Europe, the Republic of Belarus is the crossroads of Eastern European air routes. The territory of Belarus has been announced by the European Union to include three trans-European corridors, one of which, the Madrid, Paris, Berlin, Minsk, Moscow, branch off into the St. Petersburg, Kiev, Odessa and Klaipeda, Vilnius, Minsk, Lviv. The Minsk National Airport is a real mini-city with huge potential and plans, as well as a rich history. Fasten your seatbelts. We are off on our tour of the airport. The Minsk National Airport is located 42 kilometers from the center of the capital of the Republic of Belarus, Minsk. Not all roads lead to the airport, just one of them does, but what a road it is. A comfortable highway can be easily confused with a runway. Day and night throughout the year, it takes people from the airport to the city and back. And here it is, the airport complex, impressive in its architectural design, and not only on the outside. This self-contained metropolis can last a long time with no external communications because the building has virtually anything. Power networks, retail vendors, various services. All of these are meticulously coordinated. But in order to understand how this is possible today, this can be achieved, it is necessary to go back to where it all began. In 1977, Minsk II was designed as an auxiliary air hub for major Soviet airports Sheremetyevo and Damodedovo. The construction of all Union scale immediately made the headlines. Colossal amount of work has been done in a remote, swampy area. In two years, the Minsk II airport was already receiving aircraft, and in 1982 its first passenger flight took place. The volume of air travel was increasing by the year, new domestic and international flights were being added on. But 1990, the total passenger traffic at the airport reached 2,200,000 passengers. The planned annual 5.8 million passenger design capacity will be reached in the near future, and the work begins today. This year we reached the maximum from the Soviet times. Do you remember how one could get anywhere in the Soviet Union for little? We are closing on this amount of traffic. Over the past five years it has increased significantly, and the growth trend continues. I can give you the figures for the previous years. Growth by 20 and 30 percent, 28 percent last year, about 20 percent since the beginning of this year. That means that our services are in demand and they have increasingly satisfied the customers' needs. In 2012, compared to 2011, the number of flights increased by 8%, the number of passengers by 27, cargo by 13. Financial performance has also improved. The profit from the sale of services increased by 1.9 times, the net profit increased by 80%. 
This is the first airport in the Republic of Belarus, which has been certified for compliance with international standards. This is the winner of the award of the Government of Belarus for achievements in the field of quality. The Minsk National Airport has the ICAO Category 2 certificate and is able to receive aircraft at any time of day or night. Due to the reliable Siemens runway lighting, computer control and the multifunctional diagnostics and control system, aircraft of the ICAO 13 category can land here, including Boeing 747-400 AN-124 Ruslan with its maximum takeoff weight of 600 tons. The absolute champion of aviation, the world's largest cargo plane, AN-225 Maria, take off 640 tons. It's not uncommon to the Minsk airport. Here is good service, nice city, nice people, so we are always pleased to be here. The runway is a vital element of the airport. There should not be the slightest damage to the tarmac, no one faulty signal light. Its durability is not the only requirement for the airport, Impeccable cleanliness is the business card of the runway. To ensure the aircraft safety, the airfield is checked hourly for any repair and maintenance. The airfield staff monitor its condition and cut grass or remove snow in trouble zones. Work at the airport never stops. The airport cargo complex has a total area of 2,800 square meters and allows for handling of more than 4 tons of cargo per day. It consists of an automated cargo warehouse with a capacity of 250 tons per day. The storage areas can be used for various goods, including those that require special storage conditions, valuable cargo, ammunition, excise goods and cargo that contain sources of ionizing radiation. The safety of the airport is a responsibility shared by many. At any time, fire and rescue units can deliver anywhere at the airport are more than 33,000 liters of extinguishing agents, fire and technical gear and emergency equipment. The pride of the fire service and emergency rescue support is the airfield fire engine impact ARFF which accelerates to 80 kilometers in just 35 seconds. This reduces the response time to two minutes. The airport safety and security service plays the main role in the prevention of acts of unlawful interference with the airport operation. It comprises an inspection unit and a paramilitary guard detachment and a security and inspection hardware unit. Also, among those who are responsible for the safety of air traffic are the four lag staff members of the airport. The dogs in the canine unit have been put through the anti-terrorism training program and are used to screening of the sterile zones, aircraft warehouses, luggage, hand luggage, buildings, and the offices. The dog handler's work is the final in determining where the facility is safe. Aeronautical safety and security and many others work together as well oil engine that successfully carries the airport into the future and serves as the interest of the customers. Let's take a peek inside. For some air travel, is a routine business need. For others, it's a pleasant stage on the way to the long-awaited holiday. Fact is, it is not only limited to the flight because the passengers need to carry large bags, 
watch out for restless children or stand in line. But the path to the plane shouldn't be a marathon. The pleasure of the journey begins with the comfort at the airport. The spacious terminal made it possible to set up a network of passenger services per the requirements of the International Air Transport Association. A consular office of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Belarus issues visa to foreigners who come from the countries where there is no Belarusian diplomatic mission right at the airport. Insurance companies sell mandatory health insurance. Ticketing offices sell flights. What else should be in a true city? Of course, postal services, bank branches, ATMs, modern phone links and Wi-Fi. There is a restaurant, cafe, bars, chain stores and kiosks, an integrated passenger information system, packaging services and luggage lockers, as well as a hairdresser, clothing and shoe repair. Passengers with children can take advantage of the cozy room of mother and child. We have owned this special mentality of the staff, a good attitude to the person, a friendly attitude. And this attitude contributes to the fact that a person, even if he stays longer here than he plans, not through a fault of his, he likes the attitude. There are lots of positive staff reviews where passengers are grateful for the courtesy. Check-in is carried out in six areas, four of which are equipped to the international traffic technological standards. All of them have automated ticketing and luggage registration. Passenger custom clearance has a green and red corridor. In the waiting areas of the customs zone, duty-free shops and bars operate. And here are the halls for business class passengers, VIP guests and delegations, homely atmosphere, attentive staff and spacious room for urgent meetings. After all, at the airport everything should be up to the mark. To comply with international standards, a training center in the field of aviation security was set up at the airport. It is staffed by qualified teachers with a degree in teaching and practical experience in aviation security. A gym was set up for the staff of all airport units to exercise. A special English terminology learning program was developed for the staff and language lab set up where the staff can have foreign language practice under the guidance of experienced instructors. Here is the passenger service department. Look at these young ladies who graduated from the linguistic university or our other universities and speak two or three major languages. And we hired people with Turkish and Chinese languages as the geography of airline flights expands. So with five, eight languages at the airport, we will always find someone who can explain if there are difficulties. Airport is like a highly intelligent organism. The top management is the brain, the aviation security service and the traveler services are the important organs of life, luggage belts, the blood vessels. The control tower is surely the eye. Its staff takes the highest point of the airport. They are supposed to trust not only the instruments but their own vision too. Bell Aver Navigation manages the air traffic and guides aircraft to landing by handling them over first to air approach air traffic controllers and later to tower controllers who guide the iron birds upon landing. The responsibility is great because the intensity of the air traffic is increasing every year. The dispatcher simultaneously maintains contact with seven, eight planes, sometimes more, and they all fly to different points, cross their path, gain or reduce height, so the controller must be very careful. The flight supervision at Minsk Hub is performed by highly experienced air traffic controllers with the help of the Synthes Automated Air Control System. This radio electronic landing aids with improved performance characteristics 
were installed in 2001 and greatly enhanced the safety of the air traffic. Let's open the doors to the world. Today, 15 airlines operate flights to and out of Minsk. Regular flights are operated on more than 40 international routes in the CIS countries, Western Europe, the Middle East and other regions. The main air gateway of the Republic of Belarus hospitality opened its doors to many world airlines. Austrian Airlines, Polish Lot, Lufthansa, Turkmenistan Airlines, Airflot, UT Air, Turkish Airlines, Air Baltic, Etihad, Czech Airlines, all fly to Minsk. Seversal Russia and Vueling Spain have recently come on board too. Austin Airlines would like to congratulate the airport and its staff on this very special occasion. And we are very proud to be a reliable partner to Minsk Airport for over 20 years now. Our best wishes go to all those colleagues who make this success possible. All these people with their daily work, dedication and commitment are thriving with us to give our passengers the best and reliable service. Especially in difficult situations like severe weather conditions with rain, snow or ice or even technical problems. It's about those amazing people who make this success story possible. Thank you and happy birthday once more. Cooperation with foreign airlines and the national airport is always based on mutually beneficial terms takes the form of a dialogue in search of smart decisions and compromises. As a result, business relationship becomes stronger and the number of partners increases. Since August 2008, airline Etihad had run scheduled flights to the national airport from Abu Dhabi, capital of United Arab Emirates. These flights are daily, while initially there were only two and then three flights a week. Our cooperation is characterized by mutual understanding. We understand each other, we are working here in Belarus, we know the local specifics and the airport learns to work with foreign airlines in the process. The airport has a lot of experience. We are not the first to fly here, everyone is special in his own way, but most importantly, we understand each other. If problems arise, we resolve them promptly. The airport always puts it at our way. National airline Delavia has remained the leader among the partner airlines. About 80% of its employees are located at the airport. But the most important thing is the level of strong cooperation and collaboration that has developed over time. After all, in Belavia's most recent history, which spans 16 years, the national airport is its strategic partner. Today, as the competition is increasing and information technology develops very fast, it's hard for the airlines to come up with a new competitive product on their own. And we have a lot of projects that we work upon together with national airports. To provide services to the airlines according to international standards, the airport might constantly improve. Over the past few years, it has significantly upgraded its fleet to special machinery and equipment for aircraft maintenance, passenger service, cargo handling, airport maintenance, mechanization tools. A complex automated flight service system has been introduced. They know here how to make an air journey pleasant. The catering service is one of the largest units of the national airport Minsk. For dozens of years, it has served the air travelers with gastronomic pleasures. They can ensure high quality and cook in a big volumes. For example, in the summer season alone, the catering staff serves about 170,000 meals a month to the crews and passengers. The restaurant, 
bars and shops at the airport have earned the attention of both passengers and airport staff. For many of our staff work here is a family tradition. There are many such families and this is characteristic of close corporate spirit. I put the people in the first place. This is our main asset. The technical and economic aspects of this facility come second. A robust corporate spirit is probably the only thing that remains in the same while the airport changes like a city and in the coming years will respond to all changes in the world of air transportation. It gladly accepts all who are not indifferent to the aircraft in honor of the 30th anniversary of the main air gateway of the country, it opened its doors to the spotters. The first spotting session was attended by about 100 photographers from Belarus, Russia and Ukraine. A hundred years ago, aviation started out as a venture for the rich and famous. Now it has become part of the global transportation industry. Here the future will be determined by the modernization of the existing terminal. This upgrade has already begun. The existing terminal will be enlarged. I said earlier that the current terminal capacity is 3 million people, while after the reconstruction it will increase to 5.8 million passengers a year. This is a very big number. We also plan on building a new runway and a new passenger terminal with a state-of-the-art transit area. The future has been laid out. In addition to the reconstruction of the terminal, and the construction of the second runway, the airport development plan includes construction of a hotel as well as a multi-level guest parking in the airport plaza. Plans are made to purchase modern aircraft service and maintenance equipment, cargo handling equipment, mail sorters and luggage handling tools. Minsk and airport are now connected by the car and bus service, but construction of the high-speed railway link is considered. These are the plans for the future for the National Airport Minsk. The future that begins today. The tourist's first discovery of the country is its airport. The National Airport Minsk aims to make it a fascinating and informative one. The tourism department offers a shuttle service to various cities in Belarus, accommodation services in hotels and agricultural estates, organizes a variety of exciting tours. See you up there and a hospitable Belarusian soil.